Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft from the Hermitcraft server. You'll never guess where I am. I'm actually out and about seeing other parts of the server I know. I know. Crazy, right? Anyway, this is uh, Corralis' spider farm. The reason I'm here at Corralis' spider farm, how annoying is this hissing, by the way? It's not that bad. Not as bad as the Enderman, I'll say. But the reason I'm here at Corralis' spider farm is because I found a way to, be, to distribute my cards in packs, okay? The packs, I have a way to do it. Before I show you what my packaging plans are, look at this guy. Hey, thanks for visiting. Once again, my mini block collection lives on. I really like the fact that I'm, I guess I'm gonna be selling collectibles, right? The cards and the mini blocks. Very excited about that. All right, what's next? Deep slate, chiseled, polished blackstone, and amethyst block, I have all of those things. The one thing I don't have that he has for sale is uh, Deep Slate Emerald Ore, and you can find Emerald Ore in um, mountainous biomes, which this is what this is, is it not? Yes, it is. Oh, this is Windswept Hills. Is that the same? This looks like a mountain to me. This doesn't look like a Windswept Hill. Maybe I was just on the border of one? Windswept Hills. Uh, okay, that's fine. This still works. Okay, this still works. I'm pretty sure this still works. So I'm going to try and find a cave here and go down below. Why is this windswept hills? This doesn't look windswept. This looks very mountainy. <laughs> um, okay, anyway, yeah. So this should still work. I'm going to try to find a deep slate emerald ore so that I can sell it or trade it to, to, the, to that dude. Ooh, this might be a little convenient spot to go down. I haven't done caving in a long time. It shows. So close. So close. Look at the deep slate. It stops generating right here. It generated an emerald. It's kind of weird now that the um the whole, I mean, I shouldn't say the update. It's been a while since the update anyway, but emeralds now spawn higher up, or they have a, a better chance of spawning higher the higher up you go. So it is a little bit strange to be going up in search of emeralds. I mean, was it always like that? Another thing, too, is the regular... Um, diamond ore that isn't deep slate diamond ore that's even rarer to find because i believe the diamonds spawn mainly in deep slate now it's tough to say it's tough to say i'm hoping by the time i find one if i find one that that uh that wandering trader hasn't left yet to go home to his family i hope he's single well um i did not find deep slate emerald ore it is very rare it's like one of the more, more rare blocks and diamond i think the the regular Diamond ore is also pretty rare. Hmm. Anyway, it doesn't really matter because um, the wandering trader has wandered back home. Or he drowned or something. I don't know. Up to him. He can decide his own fate. All right, let me show you guys what, I'm, what I mean by the packaging, okay? I'm very, very excited because I don't know if you know this or not, but we now have bundles. Bundles will make the perfect card packs. Now, the only problem with bundles is that it shows you what's in them when you hover them but that's okay that's okay i mean um it's it's not a big deal because they won't be able to see them the bundles will be dispensed through something probably like probably kind of like this and they'll just be placed inside of a shulker box so they won't be able to see to check i mean not that the hermits would cheat or anything <laughs> but you just you just want to make sure you want to be sure that nobody can actually look in the bundles even if it's accidental because if you just hover over it it'll show you what's in it so yeah, none of the bundles will be exposed to the hermits. So what will happen is they will pay their payment, they will push this button, and the bundle will be dispensed in here, which solves my randomization issue. Because I can totally use this setup right here to randomize these bundles. Because if I'm doing it pre beforehand in bundles, in packs, quote-unquote, then uh, if I have a set number of cards then every single card will be distributed throughout the bundles, and I will put the bundles in randomly. Like, it, the bundles will probably go through a bunch of different shulker boxes before I even get them to the shop. They'll be mixed up just existing. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to use bundles. But not just any bundles, guys. Some custom model data bundles. Bundles. Bundles? Wow, I really bundled that one up. Look at this. Hermitcraft TCG Booster Packs. Look at these beautiful little packs. Aren't they great? And then when they have cards in there, they're kind of... It looks more like a card binder 
which is fine because players who purchase these can actually use them as card binders and use them as, to like to hold their deck and stuff. I think that'll be really, really good. But yeah, TCG booster packs. Boom. There will be exactly 52 TCG booster packs in existence at first. I don't know if that's a good number. I don't know if that's too high. I don't know if that's too low. But that's just, I have to pick a number and go with it, and then we'll adjust afterwards. Either way, every single one of these booster packs will have eight cards in them. I think I mentioned before that I wanted seven. I changed my mind to eight. It's easier to work with, and it, um, it, it distributes the rares and ultra rares a little bit more evenly. So we'll have... 52 booster packs, two common effects, two common items, two common hermits, and then two random rares slash ultra rares. The rares and ultra rares are weighted differently. So I'll show you. Well, actually, I, I won't show you because I haven't done it yet. But the rares will have twice as many as ultra rares, and the commons will have twice as many as rares. So the weight will be distributed differently. So there will only be a very limited number of ultra rares out there, which is good. So there you go. The T Hermitcraft TCG booster pack. Then, of course, we will have the Hermitcraft TCG starter deck, the TCG Hermit pack, the effect pack, and the item pack. I cannot wait. And guess what? We're about to fill these booster packs right now. I'll let you guys have a look at a couple of them, but I do kind of, it doesn't really matter. If you saw all of them, you'd never be able to tell which one's going to shoot out first when they do go on sale, but I'll show you a few of them because 52 would be just too many anyways. So um, I have to actually fill these with cards, and then um, then that's it. We'll start with the common effect cards. Six of each will be distributed throughout these 52 packs. So six of each, six of each, sorry. But we have to have three in each chest, okay? Because we're getting two of these per pack, if that makes sense. Trust me, I've sat down, I've calculated all this. It all makes sense to me. And it doesn't matter which one goes in in which order because they will all be distributed throughout these packs eventually okay and now for this one i'll start with actually the bottom and work my way back maybe we'll just do some random ones here and there just in case you're worried about randomization randomization um, we'll still do oh look the chorus fruit is being left behind no chorus fruit left behind i always say okay like this now we're going to repeat this process with the um item cards and then oh it's already stuck in so is there three in here as well there is okay good good this is what we're going to do now item cards we're going to go 10 of each common item card four of each common hermit card and because we're adding one extra card oh did it get sucked into the inventory or to the hopper it sure did because we're adding one extra card the uh the other the second rare it is possible by the way to get two ultra rares in a pack now but more commonly you will get two rares with a slight chance that you'll get um one ultra rare and one rare either way Wait, did I? Oh, I need another hopper. Yeah, we got to add another row to our uh, dispensing machine. Did I say hopper? I meant dropper. Um, one of those, and now one of these, and one of these. Okay, let's cover this up like uh, so. I'm going to break this because it'll bother me that it's there. All right, great. I think we're ready to start this. Oh, no, we're not. I got to put in <laughs> I got to put in the rares and ultra rares. But yeah, all the other ones are filled up with all the other cards. So now it's just a matter of finishing it off. And I'm um, very excited. The first 52 booster packs will be ready for sale. Now, before now, don't, don't get too excited before we start selling them. I will do I plan on doing two more test matches. One of them, the next one, I'll introduce weaknesses that's right weaknesses i'd intended to do this all along but um i was still trying to balance the game first and now that i see how the game kind of will play out and things people have told me about which types are more powerful which types are more common stuff like that i will introduce weaknesses to try to balance that out will it be too much for the hermits to remember i hope not i hope not because it is part of the regular pokemon tcg is it not maybe not maybe it's just the um the digital version of it. I can't remember, to be honest. I think the I think the uh, Pokemon TCG do have card weaknesses, actually, now that I think of it. It's been a while since I've played. But anyway, okay, let's fill up those last two double chests. Everything has been evenly distributed. I'm going to start putting the finished packs in here. I have 27 in my inventory right now. We're going to push this button 27 times. And here comes the first pack, guys. We have, now that this works, you're supposed to get two rares, 
right? I'm not saying, oh, here we go. Yeah. Oh, an ultra rare on the very first pack. Look at that. ZF, an explorer type was the rare. And then you yeah, had the ultra rare bed. We also have a balanced type. We have three hermits in this one because we got one of them as a rare. So that's a pretty good pack. And we got gold armor, which is very handy. Milk bucket, which some love them, some hate them. And then a terraform card. Fantastic. And I'm just going to, oops, how do you, how do I do this again? How do I, ah, right click. And that's our first pack. And you can see all the cards in the pack, which not ideal, but once again, it's not going to be visible to anybody. It's just going to shoot out a pack already filled with cards. So I think that's going to work very, very nicely. Oh, this is exciting. What's the next one? We got an ultra rare golden apple. Oh, wow. The ultra rares are hitting fast and hard. I randomly placed them in there, by the way, just so you guys know. And then we've got a rare hypno. Player can choose to attack AFK opposing hermits. Powerful card. By the way, I have added some more book cards and I've made some changes. Nothing mechanical, like nothing that actually affects the game in terms of HP stats and attack stats and stuff like that. But I changed some wording on some of the cards just so that it's clear to the Hermits what what can and can't be done with that specific card. So I'll go over the book ones and then the other ones I don't think I have to go over anyway. Let's check one more pack here. This is exciting. We've got... These all look like commons. Oh no, there's a rare chest. And a rare loyalty. I forgot that these these cards don't actually look different than the other cards. Rare, that's a good... Ooh, there's loyalty, by the way. When the hermit that is that this card is attached to is knocked out, the user flips a coin. If heads, one of the hermit's attached item cards is chosen to return to user's hand. Discard after user's knocked out. So that's a pretty good card. Pretty good card. That's why it's rare. Um, okay. Not bad. A couple Hermits. Got a Milk Bucket in here and a Terraform card. Neither of these. Both of these are balanced and didn't get a balance card. So that's a shame. Got a Redstone and a Terraform. All right. Here we go. Let's keep going. Look at this one. A double dock in this one. What are the odds? Two. This is a tradable deck right here. Or not deck. Pack. You got two docks in one. Dock is up for sale. <laughs> Four Hermits in a single pack, two rares, and then two commons. Very nice. A redstone type Susuma with a redstone. This is a good pack. Any terraform here? No. But then you also get an iron sword and a milk pack. Not so much, not the best um, effect cards. But hey, four Hermits in a pack, that is not bad at all. I've almost finished all the packs and only two have had doubles. The double dock and now this one has the double bow. But I think that's pretty good. I wanted variety throughout these packs, and we are getting it. There we go. All of these are ready for sale. Oh, I'm so excited about this. Everything worked out nicely. I did have to add a couple of extra item type cards just because my math. Uh, and I knew I would have to, um, actually. I knew I, I had it all written down on paper. I just forgot to do it But when I was telling you guys all about it. All about it. But it didn't affect the outcome at all. Um, let me see here. What, what am I looking for? This right here. So let's put these guys away. These guys are officially complete. Now I just have to create uh, probably hundreds more packs. <laughs> totally fine. Totally fine. Everything's going to work out. I wonder. Hold on a second. Does this work? I don't think I've ever tried this. So if I. Oh, it does. It goes. Interesting. I guess it doesn't actually go through the sign. It stops like, well, it kind of goes through it. Okay. Anyway, that works. That's fine. Um, great. Great. That's a relief. That was probably the toughest one to calculate because it was all the different types of cards. So now, now that I have like specific types for the next pack, other than the builder decks or sorry, the starter decks, but those are going to be easy because um, I've already got them all planned out. I might swap out. Um, I don't know how many of these I should sell. I'll probably have 20 available. Maybe, and I'll swap out, because I do have five. For instance, I will do, so a common builder here is Cleo. Maybe I'll swap out Cleo for like a false or something, you know, for the uh, the variation of it. I guess I'll, need, I'll do two of each. That'll, be, that'll only be ten. Four of each, that's what I'll probably do. It has occurred to me that because I'm going to be using these um, satchels, satchels? <laughs> Pouches? <laughs> Next Minecraft update. Satchels. Okay, because I'm going to use these pouches, they are quite expensive to create. I think it's like six leather every pouch, which is uh, a lot 
for my tiny little cow farm. So I'm going to try a different style farm. I'm going to do an entity cramming farm. I've done this before. Basically, all you really do is you cram a bunch of cows in here, you breed them, and then every time you breed them, an adult cow is killed <laughs> or entity crams itself to death and so it, it drops the leather now it won't drop as much leather because it's not a fortune sword that i'm using or looting i should say not fortune but i think it'll be a little bit more convenient than the way i was doing it before we'll see I'm, i really have not been getting a whole lot of leather from the current setup i have all the cows here it's gonna be probably pretty difficult oh goodness okay okay hold on hold on a second here you okay let's try to do one at a time here i'm not sure if this is gonna work but we're going to try it. So if I go here, right, come up the stairs. This is going to be a nightmare, I think. <laughs> come up the stairs, right? Come on, keep going. Oh, I think I need another block. Meanwhile, the other cows are just patiently waiting their turn, I hope. Maybe another. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, okay. Now, get right in there. Go ahead. There you go, big fella. Okay, this might work. Also, feel free to thank me in the comments for turning off animal sounds because this would be an absolute nightmare for you guys i know a lot of you have been waiting for me to just murder the cows <laughs> all the cows that are over here but not a big deal i can't um take out the leads because there's too many of them but if i if i walk far enough the leads just kind of break off and then they go into the hopper so it's kind of convenient all right let's go ahead and get these guys hopefully everybody is patient maybe we'll just tie a couple of them up here just to be safe We'll try one at a time still. So far, so good. I've got four in. Ideally, you want to get 24, I think. Or was it 16? It might be. No, I think it's 24. I think you got to get 24 of them in here. So we're going to have to do some breeding and wait for them to grow up anyway. But I think it'll work nicely, I hope. It's got to be easier than how I've been doing it. They're all in there. Now, I think what I have to do, if I remember correctly, good, is get them all to float up. Fantastic. So we've got eight in there. If I breed all of these eight, we'll have 16. When they grow up, I'll have to breed eight more for 24. And then any additional little cows uh, will, um, they'll actually be born, which is good. The, the parents will not. That's a shame. Let me get some stairs going up here. Block of quartz. Let's just use a smooth block of quartz. And then we have ladders already. So I'll have to, I'll put the stairs behind, oops, because I think it looks nicer than having the stairs in front, especially since we're not spending much time on this side of the base anymore, which is absolutely crazy to think about. Okay, this should work. This should work right now. There is nothing in here. There will not be anything in there for a little while, but I think it's going to work out just fine. All right, so a couple hours later... That is not good. I'm thinking I'm thinking the fortune sword is the way to go here. I keep saying fortune. It's looting, guys. I promise I've played this game before. Anyway, let's um this is gonna be tough. I'm gonna try to do this without actually removing the cows from that little area and try to set up the same sort of situation as I had going before, but I'm really not sure how this is gonna work. Um Let me think here. Oh, I might have to move it down a spot perhaps because i have to have the babies come through oh this is a big mess this time though the difference is i'm gonna have more than eight cows at the top i'm gonna have all 24 cows at the top which hopefully will allow me to um get more babies <laughs> to drop down and uh then thereby allowing me to to actually oh you know what i don't need this do i oh boy this is gonna be I'm almost better off just taking everything out and starting from fret, fr from scratch, but I'm going to try and do this. Okay. <laughs> this definitely would have been less time if I just started from scratch, but I got all 24 cows up here. Okay, I elevated them up. I have this little drop section here for the babies. Um, I think all I have to do now is remove the water, and uh, which is easier said than done. And then, how am I going to remove the water? This is, <laughs> this is difficult. And then remove the blocks inside. Hold on. How am I going to remove this water without causing... I guess I could do this. Did I just break that? Oh, I'm an idiot. Let's use a silk touch. Come on, guy. 
Wait, is this the, the water going to come out through here? It is. However, I feel like if we remove the water... Okay, okay. I think that worked. Water has been removed. Now I just have to go ahead and break some of these blocks. Uh, like this one. Uh-huh. This one as well. There we go. There we go. Things are happening. Um. I still have to break a couple more blocks, I think. For this to work. <laughs> this, is <laughs> this is ridiculous. Okay, let me see. I gotta be honest. I don't know what's going on. Am I supposed to replace this with flat panes, maybe? Maybe that's what I'll do. Gotta be quick because these guys will try to escape. Oh no, I can't replace this with flat panes because I need a, a way to actually... Uh, ooh, I need a way to actually slice and dice them. <laughs> oh no, that's not what I meant to do. This is gonna be a big mess. Okay, oh, all right. So we got the ways to slice. They're kind of stuck on the ledge here, which is weird. They didn't happen before, but maybe it's just because there's so many of them. So there are some down here. The, uh, there are still some babies up there, too, which should not be the case. They should be falling through. <laughs> oh, my God. Wait, what if I did this? Can I convince the babies to come over this way? Come on, babies. Oh, they're stuck. Interesting. Hmm. They are stuck. Maybe what I can do. Oh, boy. Okay, hold on. We're going to have to do this quick. Oh no! No 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 no. Okay okay. Uh, why isn't I, why didn't that place? It's because there's so many cows and they're kind of cramming the area, isn't it? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna get them all over here. Hello, little cows. Oh oh. Okay. Oh, there's way too many. Be oh, you know what? I should have let them all grow up. For I'm an idiot. This has been the biggest cow farm fail of all time. Um, okay, here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. I can't believe that just happened. We're going to grab a bunch of leads, and we're going to get all these cows inside the top again. Oh, of course they were falling through. I didn't mean for them to fall through. I wanted them to actually... Here, you... Oh, for a second there, I thought you couldn't lead the little ones. Come on. Come on. All right, I officially have no idea what's going on with... Oh, that's bad. That's that's bad. Maybe maybe not bad. This is a big fail. This is an absolute massive fail. But you know what? For a second, I forgot that uh, Minecraft was more than placing blocks down for maps. And, um, yeah. I have these two... By the way, I have these two cows here for a backup in case I have to murder all these. <laughs> I'm hoping I won't have to. Uh, can we just do... Oh, I'm out of glass? Really? This will work too, though. If I do this, I can still slice them and dice them. They will get stuck up here. But that's not the worst thing that could happen. Get, get, get! Okay. Maybe I should... Oh, he can't really do that anyway because it breaks both. Which, by the way, should definitely not be a thing in Minecraft. You shouldn't have to break both. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's break this. Okay, you know what? It might look good if I just went all the way around like this with these guys. But then they'll get stuck when they fall. Ugh, this is terrible. Guys, I'm going to call it quits here. I might have to design this thing from scratch. This is absolutely bonkers. Are there still babies stuck up there? I can't quite tell. Doesn't matter. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Um, this is looking fantastic. I will see you in the next one. I can't believe we've got official packs now, guys. The booster packs are complete. The item packs is what I'm working on next. I just have to... I mean, I, have, I need more leather. I need to fill this. I'm going to do 52 for all of the, um, of the packs initially, except for the starter decks, because those... Well, we won't need 52 for those. But... These guys, I think I'm going to do 52 of each. So I'm going to need a lot of leather, which means this cow farm has to work a little better. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.
Bye-bye.